So in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a button oops, like this one, which opens your favorite planner quickly in GoodNotes. So here's the GoodNotes app, but if I wanted to do this, it opens the planner that I use the most often, which is my, this is my hub planner, my master planner that has kind of everything that um, I do. So this is my hub planner with all my planners inside of it. So if you want to create a quick button so that it'll be right on your home screen where you can quickly click on it without having to go to GoodNotes and tabbing through, I will show you how to create that shortcut. So you're gonna to wanna to use the Shortcuts app and click on that. And then you wanna do a new shortcut. So you can either do create a shortcut or it may have a new shortcut here for you. Oops, we'll just do create new. And you're gonna be able to pick, so pick your apps. Make sure you can see it on the screen. Pick apps and you will see GoodNotes as a choice. Now here's the, the catch. Sometimes the one you're looking for that over here. Sometimes the one you're looking for is not in this list. So if you don't see the one you're looking for, you need to go back to your GoodNotes and you need to open that app. You need to just at least touch it. So we'll pick this one. Um, you need to at least have it. So this one's called Futurecast. Now if I go to the shortcut app, let me kind of refresh it. So let me go back. Now it's in the list. They're not necessarily in alphabetical order, so it's really hard to kind of come up with a rhyme or reason, but that will show up. So you have to touch it in good notes. So at least it's um, kind of in the recents. Then you just click on it. It comes up here. You go next. You want to name it. So you might be, this is just, I'm going to call it test because I'm not keeping it. So you're going to test it. And then there it is. Now you can play with some settings. So we could do here, if you click these three dots, it lets you change the color, change the icon. So you could do that. You can change the icon to anything you want. So by clicking this glyph button, you change what it looks like and you can change the color. What I've noticed is this seems to be a little bit glitchy that even when you do this, sometimes it doesn't change. So we've created it, right? Here it is it's called test. Now let's go to the empty page. Where did it drop it? Oh, I'm sorry, one last step I, I skipped. You want to also say to add it to your home screen. I skipped that step, I'm sorry. So click here, add to home screen, add. So now you can say done. So now there it is. So when you click on it, it flashes for a second, and then it opens that tab. It opens it up in GoodNotes for you. So if you have other tabs already open, it will keep those open. So let's close this. So we're gonna close down so we just have like their stickers, right? So I'll go back here, hit test, it flashes, and then it opens. So stickers is still open. So it just opens a new tab with your planner in it that you want it to do. So it's a quick shortcut, allows you to get to your home screen quickly and that's how I use it. So right here is where my quick button is. I click on it, it flashes, and then it opens my um, hub planner, which is what I have attached to that. So there you go, quick way to get to your favorite uh, planner right from GoodNotes.